Today we are going to do check your progress 31.1 the chapter of definite integrals so let us move to the first question find integral 0 to 5 x plus 1 as the limit of sum so this is the first question so we need to find the integral using the limit of sum so uh, let us consider this as integral a to b f of x Okay So if you write in this way then a is equal to 0 b is equal to 5 and H, H is equal to b minus a by n which is equal to 5 minus 0 by n which is 5 by n So the value of nh we get is 5 Okay now uh, let us calculate the values of f of a f of a is equal to f of 0 which means f of 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1 f of a plus h is equal to f of 0 plus h which is f of h which is equal to h plus 1 f of a plus 2h is equal to f of 2h which is equal to 2h plus 1 f of a plus n minus 1 into h is equal to f of n minus 1 into h is equal to n minus 1 into h plus 1 now we, uh, we know that integral a to b f of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 h into f of a plus f of a plus h plus f of a plus 2h and so on till f of a plus n minus 1 into h so this is the formula which we need to understand and by heart for the exams which will be coming so so uh, we can write this as limit h tends to 0 h into 1 plus f of a plus h which is h plus 1 plus f of 2 uh, a plus 2h is equal to 2h plus 1 till n minus 1 into h plus 1 this is what we get now we can rearrange this limit h tends to 0 h into 1 plus h plus 1 plus 2h plus 1 plus till n minus 1 into h plus 1 so here we have the value of 1 n times so we can write this as limit h tends to 0 h into n plus and we have h into 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus till n minus 1 times so this is equal to limit h tends to 0 h into n in plus h into n into n minus 1 divided by 2 so if we rearrange this we get limit h tends to 0 nh plus nh into nh minus h by 2 we have already found the value of nh which is equal to 5 so if we put the value here we get 5 plus 5 into 5 minus h by 2 and we have the limit of h tends to 0 so if we write this the final answer will be 5 plus 5 into 5 minus 0 by 2 this is equal to 5 plus 25 by 2 so the final answer is 5 plus 25 by by 2 
So let us move to the second question and this is the way we do it. Uh, find uh, integral minus 1 to 1 e raised to x dx as the limit of sum. So in this problem too we need to use the method which we used in the previous question. Uh, okay, so here we can find that a is equal to minus 1 and b is equal to 1 and b minus a by n is equal to uh, 1 minus minus 1 by n is equal to h which means 2 by n is equal to h or nh is equal to 2. So we have got the value of nh. Now let us uh, write the formula which is integral a to b f of a f of x dx is equal to limit h tends to 0 h into f of a plus f of a plus h and so on till f of a plus n minus 1 into h we need to uh, really know this pro uh, formulas because this is a board exam and the formulas come handy every time so uh, now let us find f of a f of a is equal to f of minus 1 which is uh, e raised to minus 1 f of uh, a plus h is equal to f of minus 1 plus h which is equal to e raised to minus 1 plus h f of a plus 2h is equal to f of minus 1 plus plus 2h this is equal to e raised to minus 1 plus 2h so if we write and so on we get f of a plus n minus 1 into h this is equal to f of minus 1 into n minus 1 into h this is equal to e raised to minus 1 plus n minus 1 into h now if we re uh, rewrite our formula which we, we we can write limit h tends to 0 h into f of a which is e raised to minus 1 f of a plus h which is e raised to minus 1 plus h f of a plus 2h which is e raised to minus 1 plus 2h and so on till e raised to minus 1 plus n minus 1 into h here we can see a, a common thing that e raised to minus 1 comes in everyone everything so we can take e raised to minus 1 outside so let us write that limit h tends to 0 h into e raised to minus 1 com common 1 plus e raised to h plus e raised to 2h plus e raised to 3h plus and so on till e raised to n minus 1 into h here also we can see a commonality that here we can write this as e raised to 0 so e raised to 0 e raised to h e raised to 2h and so on so this is a uh, uh, this of the form of a plus a r plus a r squared plus and so on till a r n minus 1 which is equal to a into r a into r is to n minus 1 by r minus 1 so here the r is the common uh, difference or the so if you write this formula in here we get h into e raised to minus 1 into e raised to 0 will be a so we need to write that here so e raised to 0 into r raised to n here r is here r is e raised to h into n minus 1 by r minus 1 so e raised to h minus 1 okay uh, 
we know a formula which is a raised to h by minus 1 by h is equal to 1. So if we uh, put h here, we also need to put an h in the denominator of this part. So here in that case we get this as 1 into e raised to minus 1 into e raised to 0 into e raised to nh minus 1. So if we solve this we get 1 into e raised to minus 1 into 1 into e raised to nh. Uh, we have found the value of nh which is e uh, which is 2. So we can uh, substitute that here we get e square minus 1. So the final answer which we get is e raised to minus 1 into e square minus 1. So this is equal to e minus e raised to minus 1. So this is the final answer which we get for this problem. Uh, let us move to the third question. In this prob uh, problem, they are just asking us to evaluate uh, integral 0 to pi by 4 sin x dx using uh, 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 the dimension limit of sum. So, we need to use the fundamental theorem of integral calculus, which is way simpler than this and less tiresome. So, we can do it, that, uh, do it in that way. In, uh, in that way, we first we need to um, find integral uh, sin x. Integral sin s is equal to minus cos x plus c as we all know. Now we can write this as minus cos x pi by 4 0. So this is equal to minus cos pi by 4 minus minus cos 0 this is what we get we all know that minus cos pi by 4 is equal to minus 1 by root 2 this will become plus cos 0 is equal to 1 so we get 1 minus 1 by root 2 as the answer uh, let us move to the b part of evaluate the question uh, which is integral 0 to pi by 2 sin x plus cos x dx uh, this is equal to integral sin x is equal to uh, cos x and uh, integral cos x is equal to minus sin x and if we apply the this thing we get pi by 2 0 cos pi by 2 is equal to 0 and sin pi by 2 is equal to 1 minus uh, cos 0 is equal to 1 minus sin, by, uh, sin 0 is equal to 0. So, if we do this, we get minus 1 minus 1. This is equal to minus 2. So, the final answer is minus 2. Let's move to the C part. Integral 0 to 1, 1 by 1 plus x squared dx. So, this is the question. How will we do this? So we know uh, we know that integral 1 plus uh, x square is equal to tan inverse of x. So tan inverse of x 1 to 0. So this is equal to tan inverse of 1 minus tan inverse of 0. So when, when do we get tan inverse of 1 as something? So in the range between 0 to pi by 2, tan inverse of 1 is equal to pi by 4 and tan inverse of 0 is equal to 0 itself, which gives us the answer of pi by 4. Let us move to the D question and the final question of check your progress 31.1. Integral 1 to 2, 4x cube minus 5x squared plus 6x plus 9 dx. Uh, this is the question uh, so first of all we need to integrate this which we get 4x raised to 4 by 4 minus 5x cube by 3 by plus 6x square by 2 plus 9x here we can make some tweakings which gives uh, 
x raised to 4 minus 5x cube by 3 plus 3x squared plus 9x 1 and 2 okay now if you put the value of 2 we get uh, 2 raised to 4 which is 16 minus uh, 5 into 8 which is 40 by 3 plus 3 into 4 which is 12 and 9 into 2 which is uh, 18 minus x raised to 4 for 1 will be 1 minus 5 by 3 plus 3 plus 9 okay uh, so 18 uh, minus 9 is 9 itself uh, 12 uh, 12 minus 3 is equal to 9 9 minus 1 is equal to 8 okay now minus 40 by 3 plus 5 by 3 is equal to minus 35 by 3 so the final answer which we get for this question is 33 minus 35 by 3 so we have come to come to the end of check your progress 31.1 i hope you found it helpful uh, uh, you can share it with your friends and thank you for watching if you liked it please like share and subscribe